Like many of you, I like wandering around the internet and seeing what's what with people. And I've noticed recently that there's quite a lot of posts on social media from drummers asking other drummers for help, in particular beginners who are just getting started on their journey, asking their fellow drummers, hey, I've just started learning how to play the drums and I want to know how to improve. It's always very vague and open-ended like that. And the answers aren't much better, and they include things like play rudiments a lot and practice to a metronome and practice rudiments to a metronome. That's all fine and dandy, but a lot of people don't know how to practice their rudiments to a metronome. What does it even mean? How do we connect the metronome to a rudimental pattern? In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to playing some very basic rudiments, just single strokes, double strokes and paradiddles, and how we make that work with a metronome and how we're going to practice and develop our sense of time as well as our sticking technique. Uh, the video is not really about technique as such, but about how we learn how to synchronize the patterns with the metronome. Just a quick note before we get started, I'm going to be demonstrating how to play along with a metronome on the count. So we're going to be counting one, two, three, four, and each click is going to coincide with the numbers. That's what we're going to focus on today. Now you are going to find a bunch of very clever videos on YouTube and elsewhere explaining that that's not the way you should be using a metronome and that you should actually be practicing your metronome skills, hearing the metronome on the fourth sixteenth of every beat or some such. That's a brilliant way to practice once you know how to work with a metronome, but just to bear in mind, we're starting with the basics today, and I would encourage you to get used to that first, and then you can try different methods of playing along the metronome. So let's get started with some single strokes. We're going to start off with quarter notes. Remember that quarter notes means counting one, two, three, four. I'm going to put the metronome on at 90 beats per minute, which is a kind of a relaxed tempo, and we're just going to count first. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to play single strokes, which for me is right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, you can go left, right, left, right if you like. One, two, three, four. It's good to practice both ways. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, please bear in mind that it's not easy for everyone to play along to a metronome. And that's why we're starting with a very simple quarter notes and quarter note single strokes. One, two, three, four. Each click coincides with a stroke. Each stroke coincides with a click. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. And when you first do this, you might find that it doesn't work so easily and you're not doing it very accurately. The key thing is don't worry about it. Just sit for a few minutes and do your best to synchronize with the click. Maybe you're a little bit off. Maybe you feel like you're going to speed up a little bit against the click or you tend to slow down a little bit. Or maybe it just doesn't quite feel right. But don't worry about it. Try not to anticipate the clicks. Just let the clicks be your friend. Just imagine your, your mate sitting in the corner clapping his or her hands. And you're just going along with it. So that's the first thing. Single strokes playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, I'm a huge fan of counting out loud. One, two, three, Four. I think when you verbalize stuff that you're playing, it makes it easier to remember. It makes it easier for you to get into the groove of the click. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Done. Next, let's have a look at eighth notes. When we started off with quarter notes, every stroke you play coincides with a click of the metronome. And you need to get used to doing that nice and comfortably. Once you're comfortable with that, and we move on to eighth notes, the metronome is still going to be clicking on the quarters, and we're going to be filling in the ands in between each quarter note with another stroke. So if I'm going to start off with my right hand, and I'm playing single stroke eighth notes, my right hand will be playing all the clicks, all the quarter notes. So my right hand will be going one, two, three, four, one, two, 
three and my left hand is going to fill in the and. So it would be one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. If you've never done it before, you might find that's a little bit challenging. So what we're going to do is a little exercise that will help you really synchronize with the click and be able to count the in between the click counts uh, and get used to moving the sticks accurately with that. So what we're going to do is this. Let's get the click back on 90 beats per minute BPM. And we're going to just play the right hand in my case. You can do it with your left hand if you like, but I'm going to play quarter notes. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to let my right hand synchronize with the clicks. I'm going to keep counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, I'm going to start counting eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and once I feel comfortable with that I'm going to add my left hand to play the ands one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and go back to quarters three and four and one and two still count the eights but just focus on your single hand playing those quarter notes one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two a lot of people go out of time as soon as they bring in the other limb three and four and you might speed up a little bit three and four and one and you think oh something doesn't feel right here go back to this two three four one two three four bring the ands in three and four and one and two and three and four and when you're ready bring in the other hand four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and, and just relax four and this might not come out right at first don't worry about it it's cool just keep Practicing every day, come in and do it a few minutes in your practice space, on your pad, or on your snare drum, whatever you like. Make sure you can hear the click clearly. Four and one and. If you start to slide a little bit, two and three and four, you feel there's something wrong, just go back to one hand. One, two, three, four. One, two. When you found the click again, one and two and three, count eighth notes. One and two and three and four and bring the other limb in and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and allow yourself just to be comfortable with that one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and done again i'll say this over and over again don't worry if it takes you time to get used to doing this some people will sit down with this kind of exercise for the first time ever and play perfectly with a click. But those people are in a small minority. And if you're not one of those people, do not worry about it. It takes time to learn these skills. Just patiently do it every single day, practice, and suddenly you'll find that you can play your single stroke eighth notes with a click and it feels nice and relaxed. Now, the last thing we're going to do with the single strokes is we're going to play sixteenths. And what we're going to do there is we're going to be counting eighth notes with one hand and we're going to be going one and two and three and four and. So the numbers will be coinciding with the click and the ands will be falling in between each click. But then we're going to have the E's and R's that are going to be played with the other hand. So we're going to start off going one, two, three, four, just counting the quarter notes. Then we're going to count eighths. One and two and three and four and, and finally we're going to add the other limb. So we're going to go one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, and then add the other limb when we're comfortable. Okay, so let's do it with the metronome like this. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three. Four and one and two. Now I'm going to count sixteenths. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a three e and a. When I feel comfortable with that, again I'm going to bring in my other hand. In my case, the left. 
One e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two. Again, if you feel a bit wobbly, if you lose the metronome, you just come back to the eights here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one e and a two e. Four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a wait until you know the count is nice and accurate, and your body should follow. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. Four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a. Okay, take a break. One and two and three and four and one and two and. Four and one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a stop. Okay, there we go. Make sure that you get good at each stage. Don't feel like you have to rush through all the stages of this video. You might find that you spend a couple of weeks just learning how to play the single stroke as quarters. Allow yourself to get comfortable with it. Don't rush. Life is long enough or, well, the apocalypse is also around the corner. Um, so either way, there's nothing we can do about it. Be patient is the key. Next, let's look at double strokes. Double strokes, right, right, left, left, or left, left, right, right. And we're going to do the same progression. We're going to start off with quarter notes. I'm still at 90 beats per minute. Here's the metronome. And if I'm playing quarter notes, we're just going like this. Right, right, left, left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, you get used to it. Once you're feeling comfortable, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, all good. Now to play eighth notes, we're going to actually start off with single strokes playing quarters, and then we're going to double up. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, right, left, right, left. And when we feel comfortable with that, and again, you've been practicing already playing single strokes as quarters, so you should be pretty comfortable with this by now. Two, and then we're going to double up. So we're going to go right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Okay? With the metronome, it sounds like this. Two, three, four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one. Then I'm going to change my count, but not my sticking. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two. And when I feel that's flowing, one and two. I'm going to play the sticks. One and two and three and four and right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Two and three and four. And now again, you might feel at this point things go a bit wobbly and suddenly you don't feel so confident about being in sync with the click anymore. Just go back to the single strokes because by now you're pretty good at it, right? Three, four, one, two, three, four. And count eights again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. When you feel that that's flowing nicely, three and four and double your strokes. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and and one and two and three and four. And then you have nice eighth notes. Don't be afraid always to go back when it gets a bit wobbly again. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and go back to one two three single stroke quarters two three four one. Two, just take a little break. Four, reorient yourself to the metronome. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three. And again, be patient. Just enjoy working out with the metronome. 
the more you do this stuff, you'll get good at it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and stop. Now, uh, we're going to look at the sixteenths playing double strokes and this time we're going to be playing eighth note single strokes to start with to orient ourselves to the click, right? So we're going to be going uh, one and two and three and four and two and three and four and then we're going to count sixteenths. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and then finally we're going to double up. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. But let's do it with a metronome already. Two, three, four. So one and two and three and four and one and two and four and. Now you can orient yourself again to the single strokes if you want. One, two, three, four, and then add the ands. If you practice the single strokes bit. You should be fairly comfortable doing this by now. One and two and three. One and two and three and four and. So I'm going to count sixteenths predictably enough, and I'm then going to change my sticking once I feel comfortable with the count. Three and four and. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Take a break. Three and four and one. Again, you might lose the click and need to reorient yourself by going back to single strokes. Maybe you just want to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Really helps you focus on the click. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e. Four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a stop. Done. Finally, let's look at the paradiddle. We're going to go through the same formula. We're going to play them as quarter notes, as eighth notes, and then as sixteenths. I would make sure you feel really comfortable with the previous two sets of exercises so that when you practice these, you're feeling that you can synchronize with the click very easily because you're going to have to concentrate on the sticking pattern a little bit more. So let's start off with the quarter notes. It's pretty straightforward. Here comes the click. Two, three, four, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to go with the eighth notes. To get that going, we're going to start off with quarter note double strokes. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to count the ands. And finally, when we feel comfortable with that, we're going to fill in the rest of the paradiddle pattern. Okay? And if things get a bit wobbly, again, you can drop back to the double strokes like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, right, left, left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. Again, you feel comfortable, finish off the paradiddle. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and. Oh, I've gone a bit out of the click. I'm just going to find safety by going back to double strokes. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and again just take a break. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, and go again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. 
and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and three and four and one and two and three and four and done. So for the last part of this gruelling series of exercises, we're going to be playing paradiddles as sixteenths, but we're going to start off orienting ourselves to the click using eighth note double strokes. So we're going to start by going one and two and three and four and then we're going to count the sixteenths, one iana, two iana, three iana, four iana, and when we feel comfortable, finally, we'll fill in the rest of the notes for the paradiddle. One iana, two iana, three iana, four iana, and so on. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And now, if you followed the instructions up to now, playing double strokes to the click should be pretty easy. One and two and three and four and one and two and four and. So now I'm feeling comfortable with the click. I'm going to count sixteenths. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a. Finally, turn it into paradiddle. Two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Ooh, if I'm going out a little bit and I've lost the click, go to eighth notes again. Four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and when you're ready, back to paradiddle. And four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a take rest two and four and focus on the click. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three back to paradiddle one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one more time three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a four e and a stop. Oh. I need some air now. So that's that. You've got your single strokes, your double strokes, and your paradiddle. Work on all of those until you can very comfortably play them at quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenths along to the click. As I said already several times, don't worry, it can take quite a bit of practice to get there. But what you're aiming for is a feeling that you can very comfortably play any of those exercises along to a click without speeding up or slowing down. That'll do for today. Thanks as always for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you thought and whether there's any topics you'd like me to cover in the future. Now, go away and practice.